Hey guys, D-Pad Danny back again, and today I'll be playing Super Monkey Ball 2 for the Nintendo GameCube. Alright, Super Monkey Ball 2. Let's see here. Uh, main game. Uh, we'll do challenge mode. Obviously one player. We'll do... Um, I guess we'll just do beginner. I'm not the best at this game. We'll see how that goes. Now if you haven't played a, a Super Monkey Ball game before, basically you just uh, roll your monkey through the goal. Um, the analog stick kind of moves the, uh, the platform that you're on to make you it roll the other way. Um, and later on there'll be obstacles and switches and stuff. Okay, get this half pipe, come around here. All the way around. Stop uh, up here. And in we go. Now, some people who are like really good at this, like you'll see this, like people that speed run it and stuff are just insane at these. They can do all these sorts of weird trick shots to pop off and hit secret exits of, of each stage. It's pretty intense. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a sight to see people that uh, speed run this game. Ah, speed run this game. And it's especially higher levels. It's super, super easy to fall off the stage. It's um, okay. So here's one with the switch. Um, hit the switch, and it extends this uh, this platform here. If I hit that switch again, oh, I think it'll bring the platform back down, and I'll fall off. It's oh, kind of a, uh, a troll. I could be wrong, but I mean, it's, it's been a while since I played this one. Bonus stage. I am not good at this one. I usually don't do too well. I got one banana. It's, uh... Yeah, if you're good, I think you can kind of coast around the whole outside edge. I'm just going to go for the exit. Just... You get extra scores for bananas and stuff, but whatever. So this one has uh, platforms that rise and fall. Um, I guess probably the safest one thing to do in this one is just to avoid those areas altogether. Like a so. You know, an interesting thing people um, don't realize uh, a lot, well, some people don't realize about um, Super Monkey Ball as a series um, is that it originally started in the arcade. The original Super Monkey Ball uh, was in the arcade running off of essentially Dreamcast hardware. Uh, and then um, they ported it to uh, the GameCube. Uh, so, you know, by that time, obviously, Sega was out of the console race. Um, and the, uh, the GameCube version is really good, and obviously, this is the sequel. Um, I think. If I remember correctly, I think the first one's a little bit better. There's a bunch of mini games, and the mini games on the uh, on the first one are, are definitely, definitely uh, better than on this one. But um, this is still a fun game. I just I don't own the first one. I used to a long time ago. Um, oh no! I fell. Um. Yeah, I used to have the first one, and I used to have a lot of really good GameCube games, but I moved a lot. Um, when I moved to North Carolina, I moved probably like five times in the course of a year or so, just trying to get situated and whatnot. And um, I had I had some, you know, my GameCube games in one of those little CD wallets, but, you know, GameCube games are smaller than regular CDs, so naturally... It, uh, it was a small wallet, and um, 
it's just disappeared at some point. I don't know what happened to it, but I had a lot of good games. I had Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2, I had Wind Waker, Resident Evil 0, Alien Hominid, which is a great uh, run and gun if, uh, if you've never played it. Oh, I hate this level. Um, yeah, I had a bunch of really good games, and I've replaced some of them, but not all of them. Let's get to the bananas. Now, I'm not gonna... I don't want to get knocked off. I don't want to get knocked off! Wow. I don't think that's ever happened to me. Usually it just smacks me and I fall off. I've never had it uh, hit me in just the right location to where it uh, sends me up back to, to the uh, beginning. Do not like that stage. Do not like that stage. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've, I've uh, rebought a lot of the GameCube. Well, not a lot. My GameCube collection is kind of small. But I've rebought uh, a handful of the games that uh, that I used to have. But there's still there's still a bunch of them I still need to get. I'm gonna try to take it a little bit slow. tight corridors here. Well, not a corridor. I guess it's more of a bridge than anything. It's very, very narrow. Oh, man. Okay. So this one, I think, if I remember correctly, it, it moves. So, there we go. Oh, don't fall! Oh, no! Yeah, that was kind of hard to time because, you know, the one's going up and the other one's going up like this, so you got to time it to where you can kind of... It's it's tough. Um, but like I said, maybe it's just tough for me. I'm not the best at uh, Super Monkey Ball. They're fun. They're fun games. But, again, the people that are really good at it, it's it's a sight to see. I, should, I suggest that you... Uh, if you're interested, definitely look up on YouTube some um, some Super Monkey Ball speed running. It's it's pretty intense. Okay. There we go. All right. It always gives you the uh, uh, replay. I finished without using a continue. I almost had to use a continue. That was my last life. Extra one. I think the extra stages are pretty tough. This one's got conveyor belts on the side there. Yeah, you just kind of have to go through really fast. <clears throat> Or those, never mind, those uh, orange things for conveyor belts. Uh, okay, this one. Yeah, this one. Okay. Okay. Hey, alright, that was uh, surprisingly nameless. I didn't think I was going to do that well on that one. Ah, uh, yeah. This one's got these these panels that move around. So let's hit the switch. See what that does. If I can get on it. Come on. No. I'll try it again. I'm only going to use one continue, because this is about where it starts getting too tough for me. Uh, now, if you play the advanced, you play 30 normal stages, and then you get to the extra. But the extra, I believe, is just when you beat the game, or you beat the, the levels of the, the, the mode you've selected. Um, you going to come over here? Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Oh, oh. Stay on here. Can you turn around so I can see? OK. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Sweet. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, um, I've always had trouble with that one. So I guess I need to go over... I'll do one more continue. I guess I need to go, like, over it fast enough. I, I didn't realize there was a little lip there, okay? Yeah, I see it now. I was just trying to be careful and assess the situation, but... Kind of screwed it up on it. And that's where they get you, because if that space wasn't there, you'd be able to ease through and you'd be able to kind of weave around the stuff, but... Since you gotta be quick... Just to even get on the platform... just go straight forward. Like, maybe it's timed out so it'll, uh, do right. Oh, oh. Yeah, I guess that's it. You just, oh, what the, how can I go faster than that? That's cheap. That is cheap right there. Guys, I'm gonna call it there. <laughs> I'm not the best at Super Monkey Ball or Super Monkey Ball 2, but, you know, it's, um, it's fun. It's especially if you get some friends together, you can play alternating on the levels, or you can play the, uh, the mini-games. There's a lot of fun party games on, uh, either version that you get. I haven't played anything past Super Monkey Ball 2, so I don't know about the 3DS one or the Wii ones or anything like that. But the GameCube, uh, installments, pretty solid. Um, though they are a little frustrating sometimes. Anyway, guys, thanks always for watching. I'm D-Pad Danny. See you next time.